Hello and welcome to the Surgeon's Bar Room. In this video, we will be taking a look at the indications of amputation. Now, usually when you ask a student to enlist the indications of amputation, he or she starts giving a very long list of what they think are the indications of amputation and which is usually only partially right. Now, the indications of amputation can be remembered by a very short phrase. You remember only three words, dead, deadly and dead loss. Easy to remember, dead, deadly, dead loss. Now let us look at these one by one. Now what does a dead limb mean? A dead limb is a limb which uh, because of uh, arterial occlusion or stenosis has it has led to tissue infarction which has led to gangrene. Now this gangrene could be because of any cause. It could be because of atherosclerosis, because of an embolus, because of, di because of um, diabetic arteriosclerosis, diabetic atherosclerosis, Burger Burgess disease, TAO. Reynolds disease, inadvertent intra-arterial injection, ergotism. The point I'm trying to make is no matter what the cause is, once the limb is dead, you have to do an amputation. The amputation can be forefoot, it can be below ankle, above ankle, below knee, above knee, whatever. But once the limb is dead, you have to do an amputation at the appropriate level. Now the second indication is deadly. Now what does deadly mean? Deadly means that the limb poses a threat, it poses an immediate threat to the life of the patient. So for example, there is wet gangrene. Wet gangrene means not only is there gangrene, but there is also infection which is leading, which is causing uh, septicemia, sepsis, which may then progress to mods and death. Now uh, for a gangrene patient, you can actually wait for some time. You can wait for, it is not an emergency. You can plan and you can operate accordingly. For a wet gangrene on the other hand, it is an emergency. So in a wet gangrene, in all these, uh, in all the types, in all the examples of, in all the indications of deadly, uh, the term deadly, in these uh, patients, by amputating the limb, you are actually saving the life of the patient. So first is wet gangrene. Second is gas gangrene. Gas gangrene is caused by the organism Clostridium, uh, Clostridium perfringens or Clostridium welchii and uh, that is a rapidly spreading uh, infection which can cause uh, sepsis, septicemia, mods. So in those patients, amputation is life saving and amputation needs to be done on an emergency basis. Spreading cellulitis, for cellulitis you will never do amputation but for spreading cellulitis if it causes septicemia, sepsis again you will do an amputation. Fourth, and then this is a very interesting indication, this is an arteriovenous fistula. Now in an arteriovenous fistula, in some patients, it can cause uh, cardiac failure. This is because the blood is going from the high pressure artery into the low pressure vein and that venous return is going into the heart. So basically, more blood is entering the heart, the heart has to work harder, it has to pump harder and that might cause cardiac failure. If that is the case, you may have to do an amputation of the limb which has the artery venous fistula in order to save the life of the patient. Another indication which is obvious is osteosarcoma that is in malignancies. Now the third category is the most interesting category this is dead loss. Dead loss means not only is the limb dead but it is also a liability to the patient. So in this the first indication is when there is severe rest pain with unreconstructable, this is the keyword, severe rest pain with unreconstructable critical limb ischemia. The second indication is paralysis. So for example, in a patient with polio, uh, because of the paralysis, the limb might become impossible to use and the limb may hinder walking or it may hinder any movement. And in such patients, if you do an amputation, it improves the mobility of the patient. So for example, a patient uh, one of his, uh, uh, let us assume that his uh, left lower limb is paralyzed. So each time that the patient has to get up to walk or to move around, since he cannot use the left lower limb at all, he has to actually lift the left lower limb in order to move around. That becomes very cumbersome to the patient and that is an indication for amputation. Now the other indications are contracture. Supposing there is a severe contracture then you might have to do an amputation because by because the contracture is decreasing or hampering the mobility of the patient. Um, one, more, one more indication is trauma. So in trauma what happens is maybe the um, 
the major vessels have been transected and those cannot be reconstructed. So, in that scenario, it would be best to do an amputation. So, to recap, there are only three indications of amputation. These are dead, deadly and dead loss. Thank you.